everyone and welcome back and if you need to my channel my name is Humby and on today's video you guys are going to watch how I came up with this look. I am trying out a whole bunch of Shop Miss A products. We're going to be tr testing out the new concealer. We have the new lightening mascara. We have some other things that they've had for a while. We're going to be testing out a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, I'm going to be testing out all of these products and stuff. So guys, just please continue watching and see my thoughts. And at the end of this video, I also will let you guys know what my first impressions have been of these items too with little mini reviews. So let's get to it and let's start this look. So first thing I'm going to start with is the AOA Studio. This is the A+. It's a buildable satin foundation. I have used this before. And I wasn't a huge fan of it, but what I'm going to do this time is I am going to go ahead and use it with, this is not from Shop Miss A, but this is the Mar Ulio, I'm sorry, Mar Ula. And this is a pure Mar Ula face oil. I don't like using this by itself, but sometimes when I mix this in with thick foundations, I feel like it works pretty well. So we are going to try that because I do want to give this a fair shot. I have used this by itself and I was just not a fan of it. And I know a lot of people love this, but it's just so thick. It's like cakey. I didn't like it. Um, so we do need to shake it really well. So let's shake that. And we're also going to be trying the Silly Dip. This is the Wonder Blender. I've used this before. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but let's try it again. Um, I use the blue one. They have like three different colors. And this one is, um, it has like a silicone base to it. And then they have the regular, you know, blender. I really like the blenders. I wasn't a fan of this. Let's give it another shot. Um, this is a different shape than the other one that I've tried. And try that out. I always like giving things a second, third shot just to see if, is it something that just maybe didn't work out with me? I don't know. But we always give something more than one shot because you might be pleasantly surprised. I am going to use the primer, the Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. I actually really like this. This is like, what, my second one that I've um, purchased. I feel like it gives me a nice, clean, um, like, look, like a finished look. So I really do like it. And I thought it might be good too because I am going to use that foundation that is kind of drying. So let's give this a shot. Fingers crossed. But see how like thick it is? I don't know. It's just not my favorite. But let's try it with that. Like look, you can't even get anything in the dropper. like that thick let's try it oh here is some I'm gonna add one drop of that oil because this oil is very very thick there we go and let's just move that around and let's try it and see how it works. Okay, that actually went on a lot better than without the oil. So maybe that's what I need to like it. So I'll keep trying it with the oil. And I'm also gonna leave down in the description below how this also worked throughout the, um, the day and see if it played okay and if it didn't like crease or fade away as well because sometimes foundations do have a tendency to do that we are going to be trying the top secret concealer let's try that it looks kind of dry and it's already cracking it's very thick oh 
Oof. I don't know. Let's try it with that like silicone portion. And now let's just go in with that softer and just kind of, oh. Okay guys, I'm not liking it. It is like creasing like crazy on me. I need concealers that are more hydrating uh, because I have a lot of like fine lines underneath my eyes. I'm gonna try to make this work, but I don't think I'm gonna like that. No, it's already creasing like crazy. If you can tell, oh, it is creasing a lot. And that might be a pass for me. I don't know. Maybe that might work out for me as a, um, like a base to do like a cut crease or something. I don't know. We'll have to try it for that. But and we're going to test this out as well. See how we like it. So this right here, I've tried the um, the regular one. I think it's like original. And I love it, love it, love it, love it to, to the point where I have bought another one. And this one is actually a brightening one. So I wanted to give that a shot. So I picked this up and this is just a dollar and it works so well. It's so finely milled and it does not um, crease on me. I'm impressed by it. So let's see how that goes. And this is what it looks like. This is the brightening. So I haven't tried the brightening before. So we'll have to test it out. I do like going in though with my blender because I can really get it in there. But we're gonna see how this is gonna work out because I have that concealer on that was already creasing. And yeah, I really am not liking that concealer. Okay. Let's see how that powder works though. Just like putting it on the ears where I feel like I get shiny more with more like the T-zone type thing. Not bad. Next thing I wanna go in with, and I'm just kinda doing it how I normally do my makeup, and I always like going in with my brows. This right here is like, literally probably my favorite thing from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio, this is the Slim Brow. Make sure you get the Slim Brow, cause they do have another one, which it's more thicker, but it's too waxy and I feel like it doesn't give you a nice fine line. But I absolutely love this. I don't think I ever place an order with Shop Miss A without me purchasing a couple of these. Okay, brows are done. I absolutely love this. If you have not picked this up, definitely go choose it. I use the shade in dark brown. Love this. It literally lasts all day. Amazing, amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Then we're gonna be priming our eyes. So we're gonna be using the Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. So I tried the original one and I really did enjoy it. The only thing I noticed with it is when you get to about halfway through the bottle, it starts getting dry and it just was not working. So we're going to be testing out this one. This one is, what is this one called? Okay, I found it. It's really hard to see. It's called the Glow. So this one 
has more of that shimmery. It's kind of like Urban Decay, how they have the original, and then they have, I think it's Sin. Don't quote me on it, on the potion. They, they have like three different formulas. So this one is the glow one. So let's try it out and see how it works. Again, I actually really like this, but I only got like use of half the bottle, but honestly, it's so inexpensive that it was okay. So let's test this out. So when I go in, I always just cover my eyelid and I do pat it in with my finger um, because again, I crease very, very easily. So I need to make sure that I get this like really packed in my eye. If not, then it just does not work out for me. Okay, so we've packed that in and we're gonna be testing out some of their eyeshadows. So this was part of their garden, fairy garden collection. So we have this one here that's called Willow. It is super pretty. It's green. There is three shimmers and one matte. If I could open this. So let's try it again. I actually had it sealed, so I have to break the seal. Um, so with this one, you get three shimmers in one matte. Look at how beautiful that looks. And then we have this one that's more of a neutral. It's called Lily. And this one has three mattes and one shimmer. That is super pretty. And then this is Peony, which it's two shimmers and two mattes. That is super pretty, it's warm toned. And this one is called Orchid. There is three shimmers in one matte. And this is non-toxic, vegan, and cruelty free. So, oh, oh, I always go for greens. Oh, this one looks so pretty too. Look at those greens. Maybe we can do a look with both of these. Let's try that out. So I'm gonna go in with that. It actually looks like it's kind of like a satin. I'm just gonna kind of set my eyes. Definitely a satin. So I went ahead and I did my eyes. I'm going to be honest with you. Here's the look I created. I'm not impressed with these. Um, I felt that these were drying and they weren't really pigmented at all. I did not use that bronze color, but here's a swatch. I feel like all of them, that bronzy might be the best. These were these colors right here. And I don't know, for me to get any pigmentation, I really had to go in there, I feel like, with my finger. And I also feel like it was the same thing with this one as well. Some swatches of this one. And I feel like it was the same thing with that. But once you used your finger, it was better. But they look so pretty, but you definitely have to go in and you have to pack it. They're drying, but this one is not as drying as the like pinky purpley one, the orchid. 
So I didn't notice that, but these are pretty, but see how I just did that swatch and there's really not, look at this one. It's not much pigmentation. That one's not bad. To do the inner corner, I actually went in with this one and then I topped it with that to kind of try to brighten it up more. Not my favorite. Wow, guys, I feel like I've had some fails so far, but let's keep on going and keep trying some more stuff out and kind of see how they play out. So let's try the new mascara. This is the length one. They did come three in a collection. So this is what came out, the length, the volume, and the curl. Um, I already did do a video on that, so guys, definitely go watch it. Um, but I've tested these out already, but let's test out the length one. I love how bright the packaging is. So there that is, and again, says it's lengthening, long wearing, and buildable. And it is cruelty free and it has a flex wand. Okay. And let's test this baby out. I actually really enjoyed one of those, but one of them I didn't at all. Wow. Okay. Okay, shop Miss A. Not too shabby. Is it better than my essence? No. But is it the worst mascara I've ever tried? Absolutely not. Okay. Guys, Look at that. That is not bad at all. I would actually purchase this again. I'm going to have to try these two together, one on each eye and kind of see which one I like better because I'd definitely love to do that because I really like the volume one. So that's a spoiler for the other video. So let's see what else we have here. So my next step on my uh, makeup routine is a bronzer or a contour. So I looked online, I didn't see any bronzers that I really liked that stood out to me, but I did like the um, this tone here. This is the Cafe and this is the AOA Studio Perfect. This is a finishing powder and this is something that I do with like pretty much every single brand is if I don't see a bronzer that they carry, I normally do go ahead and try on, you know, a foundation or um, a pressed powder and I just go for a darker skin tone than I am and I use it that way because I feel like they blend so nicely, usually with, you know, that foundation you have and everything. So I never had an issue with that and that is something that I've been doing for years and years and years. And I really do like the perfect um, pressed powder from them. And I also like the loose one as well. So this is part of the same collection and I've had really good luck with it. So I definitely wanna go ahead and, you know, try this out. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be because again, I haven't used one that was so, um, it was darker. Ooh. -hoo. Wow, okay, but look, pretty good pigmentation. So if you don't see your shade, don't worry because always look at what other skin tones they have and just go for some that are a little bit darker deeper than your skin toned. Oh, I think that's really pretty. I am loving this. Definitely a hit. 
So this is actually an AOA Studio brush. I actually really do enjoy their brushes. Obviously, is it the best quality out there? No. Is it going to last you for years and years and years? No. But for a dollar, a dollar and change, some of them might be. Not bad. Not bad. And so for the blush, we're going to try the Lumi Radiant Blush. So I haven't tried this shade before. This one is so close. They have one that's called Ravish that I absolutely love. So I wanted to try this one. It's like marbleized. I love it. It kind of reminds me of the Lara Geller. So it is powdery, but just tap that brush. So pretty. So pretty. Just go light-handed because the light-handed uh, because these are pretty pigmented. But they have a nice little glow to it. I love these for the spring, summer. And I'm a blush girl. I absolutely love blush. I love blush and highlight. And then next up is going to be the highlight. And we are going to try the AOA Studio Wonder. And this right here is actually an eyeshadow. But sometimes there are certain shades that seem so pretty that you want to use as a highlighter. I don't know. I mix my stuff up all the time. I don't normally just stick to, oh, if it's a highlighter, I'm just going to use it as a highlighter. No. I will sometimes highlight, you know, my brow with it, inner corner. I will put it on the lid. I play with it. I play with my makeup. I love trying things out. And, you know, sometimes it's nice to have one product that you can use it, you know, for more than one thing. So let's try. <gasps> Look at that. so pretty it's like a nice natural beautiful glow it's not like super blinding I'm sure that if you went in with a setting spray that it would work Oh, that is super, super pretty. Oh, I like that. Let's try putting that in the in the corner of my eye. Let's see how that works out. Oh, that's so pretty. A little highlight up here. I'm telling you, makeup is just to have fun, play with it, nothing serious. And now we're going to try again, it is from AOA Studio. I'm telling you. Out of all the lines I've tried from them, I really do like the AOA Studio. And this is the Velvet Lips, and this one is in Aria. So there it is. That looks so pretty. Ooh. It's like a moussey consistency. That is much brighter than what I thought it was going to be. That is super, super pretty. It's moussey but creamy all at the same time. We also have this here. Should we try this? 
This is a shimmer lip gloss, and this is from Selva Selavi. I'm probably completely butchering that, so we have this as well to try. Oh, it's just a little gloss. Let's see if it does anything. In here, it does look like there is some type of a holographic, but I don't know how that's going to. <gasps> Guys, look at this. Oh, when you first put it on, I'm probably gonna change now the look of this because I just went in. It's a little bit holographic, but when you blend it out, you can't really see it. I'm gonna actually try cleaning the tip so I don't end up changing the color of the gloss. So I might wanna try this on its own. Mm. It smells super good, kinda of like sweet berry. And it does give it a nice little gloss and it, it really actually is a bit holographic. Obviously not too, too much, but there's a little holographic. It's super creamy. I love it. Oh, I really like this. We'll have to keep playing with it and seeing how it works. And I also want to really try this on its own as well. So I just put that on the middle of my lips. So I don't have a setting spray from them. I have tried one of theirs in the past. Did I love it? No. I think that's why I never really repurchased it. We'll see if I repurchase it again. Um, but let's just continue watching this, test this out and see how it works. Um, let's talk about the things that I liked and the things that I definitely would pass on. Let me pull down my hair. Let's kind of start the way that of all the products I used. This I really like. I've actually, this is my second one. I really do enjoy that. And this is the Aqua and this is a hydrating face primer. This is so nice. It's moisturizing. And I really like it. And I think that's actually why I didn't hate this as much. But I am going to have to keep wearing it and testing it out. So far, so good. It's not creasing or anything like that. But let's see how this is after eight hours. So I'll keep you guys updated on that down in the description below. I also really think what helped me out too was adding that little bit of oil to this. I think that definitely did help me out. Um, so far, also with the primer, I'm not getting any creasing. We'll have to see. But again, I will have to test this one out with another eyeshadow that I know that works beautifully because um, let's just jump into the eyeshadows um, because I don't feel that these were great. I definitely would pass on these. I thought that they were dry and the pigmentation really was not there. I'm not impressed with it. By the time I finished, you know, the rest of my face, it's like faded. The colors are fading fast. Um, it's like they're melting away. I'm not really impressed at all. I definitely would pass on both of these. I haven't tried, you know, more of the neutral colors yet. The Peony and the Lily. I haven't tried these. I will try these out as well. Um, but, yeah. You know, maybe... You know it's the primer i don't know so i will be testing those out and i will be testing these out again with a different primer 
and seeing how that works out. And then I will later on update you guys on that. I do like the brightening. I did notice it that, um, you know, there was some shimmer to it a little bit, a little sheen, I guess, more than what the original one has. Uh, we'll have to keep seeing how that works out, but not bad. Am loving the blush. That is so pretty. I do like this one. The so close. I think it's so pretty. Look at that sheen glitter. I feel like for the spring summertime with the glowy skin, I feel like something like this just kind of brightens it up and it like makes your look. It just pulls it all together. I love blushes like this. And during the summer, if there's like a certain blush that I'm not in love with, I normally do kind of do a highlighter top coat on it to kind of give me that sheen but this one already comes with it in there so it's stuff that I don't have to do I am really liking this I know that this is an eyeshadow but I just thought that that was so pretty and this one is actually called push pop um how pretty is that and I feel like it did such a beautiful job look at that look at that highlight it's so pretty I'm loving this. Really like this as well. I thought that the color worked beautifully, beautifully for me with my skin tone. I think it did such a good job. Am liking it. This right here is a pass for me because even now I'm noticing like it is creasing. Look at that. Ugh, not impressed with this. Don't think I'll be, you know, using much more of that. Maybe I'll test it out with a different foundation. See how that works. This right here, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Um, am liking it so far. Look at that. I have tried high-end mascaras that I have not gotten um, the, this length from them. So this was a plus for me. I also really did enjoy this. Um, I want to try this by itself. I do have a little bit of that pink in there because I did go in there once, once I applied it. But I'm going to continue playing with this, trying this out by itself, seeing how that looks. And this lip, so far, is so good. Um, it's a nice satiny, moussey. But it looks shiny right now because I did go in with this. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it. With this right here, yeah, I'm still feeling the same way. I don't like the silicone portion of it. I do like the blender. I will continue using it, but I will only be using this portion. So not anything bad. But guys, please let me know down in the descriptions below what your favorite products are from Shop Miss A, because if I haven't tried them yet, I definitely would love to try them out. Also, let me know if you guys have tried these products out before and how they've worked out for you. Just kind of just let me know what your thoughts on it. So I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't so already, please don't forget to subscribe. It truly means the world to me. I just want to thank you guys and have a wonderful day.